All right, today we're hitting traps. Now this video is for anybody who either just doesn't get results from heavy shrugs, or maybe you do and you're just tired of jerking weight up and down, you want something different to do, because to be honest with you, I haven't done heavy shrugs since I was a little girl, and even when I did do them, I didn't get great results. On top of that, I just didn't like the way I felt. I get that same feeling when you get drunk with your friends and you decide to become a professional slap boxer. You wake up the next morning and everything on your face and neck and basically your entire head hurts. That's the same way I felt from heavy shrugs. So go over some variations that I like to do. Let's get after it. All right, let's start out with the seated cable because I don't care how screwed up you are. Between the attachments and adjusting the angle of your body, you can find something you connect with that if you haven't got results before, this will do it for you. And the reason I like these so much is you're able to hit traps at what I feel is the best angle for development, which isn't straight up and down. It's coming back in a motion that really prioritizes those lower and mid traps and then finishes the contraction off into those upper traps because most people who do shrugs nonstop look great from the front. They have this nice 3D look. They got that nice top shelf to their traps. You turn them to the side and they look like you've been homeschooled their entire life. All right, so let's start with a nice high straight bar cable row. Now, make sure you start the contraction off the lower part of those traps by pulling those shoulder blades back. And as you start to drive it up, make sure you really pull those elbows up nice and high. And that's just going to drive the contraction up even higher. Now, if you do this for a short period of time, a couple of weeks, you'll notice that you get more development from the side and you'll look less homeschooled. I mean, you can get mad at me if you want, but I, I don't even know where this shit comes from. All right, let's switch it up and throw what I call a T-bar handle on there and do more of a traditional style of shrug, but at a more optimal angle. Now with these, you got to really adjust that body because one, your shoulders are going to talk to you and tell you what sucks and what doesn't, but also you're going to find an angle that really stretches those traps more and has a better contraction as you're coming back. And for me, I keep a nice bend to that elbow because I want to feel like as I'm coming up to the top, I'm able to pull that handle apart and really contracts those traps in just a better contraction overall. If you're still having trouble connecting to those traps, then you're an awful human being and you're just jerking off the weight too much. If you lighten up the weight and throw two single handles on there and actually pull them apart as you come back, you're gonna find that connection and actually get those damn things to grow. I don't know where trap development took a left turn and everybody decided the best way to train them is just go heavy as possible because for me, the best way I found is to make those traps work harder through a movement in other ways than just grabbing the heaviest dumbbells or stacking the bar as much as you can because just because your traps can handle it doesn't mean you should. I mean, your biceps can handle a hell of a lot of weight on something like an open-handed deadlift, but unless you're a competitive lifter and that's your life, or you got a deal worked out with your orthopedic surgeon that every time you come in after you tear a muscle, you get a free reach around, I wouldn't recommend it. One of the best shrug variations I've found is one you do with dumbbells. And the way you do is by opening up that chest, pulling those shoulders back, pinching those shoulder blades together, and then supinating those palms. So before you even start the movement, you've already engaged the most neglected part of people's traps. And then you're contracting back at an angle. And then from there, it's just about deciding if you want to keep the elbow in a fixed position, or if you want to chance it and test it and see if you get more out of that contraction, you can enhance it by bending those elbows as you contract up. So as always, like, subscribe with the notification bell. Leave a comment for the video you want next. Get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon.